45 seconds one direction, 45 seconds the other direction, and then 45 seconds of gripping as hard as you can. For supination and pronation, I like working one direction first and then doing both directions. Make sure that the elbow is straight the entire time. You can also add ulnar deviation, as demonstrated here, and radial deviation. This is by far one of my favorite wrist extensor exercises. You work downward all the way towards the ground, then you have to work all the way back up. Notice how the string is on the outside, not the inside facing him. That's going to make sure you work your wrist extensors. Once weight bearing became less painful or non-painful, we started with these type of exercises, working the flexors and extensors. Once again, making sure your elbows are straight the entire time. To continue working on wrist flexor strengthening and a false grip, I gave him a giant sloper and had him swinging. And then we also did just one arm dead hanging as well. As soon as we could fully weight bear pain free, we had him doing shoulder strengthening and joint loading. Here's another weight bearing exercise I like to add because there's different grips and different angles of weight bearing. To get back more specifically to pommel horse and uh, pommel swinging which hurt the most, we were doing uh, more weight bearing in different angles and directions. Two weeks with manual therapy and the strengthening exercises and progressions, we got him not only swinging in a bucket, but back on horse pain-free.